Okay, so this is what I've come up with for strain relief on my laser. Ignore that nut and bolt. Well, that's a very long bolt, but that's to do with my fine focus system. We're looking at the black part. This is 3mm MDF. And this is for a 10 watt diode laser. And you can see that there is now strain relief on the cable connecting to the laser module. Now I am using an extension cable here. So this goes from a three pin. So that's red, blue, black. And then that converts to a four pin connector. So then you've got red, blue, black that way. Now you can get three pin to three pin connectors. So that will allow you to keep this extension lead in to your standard laser and then connect to your standard three pin wiring harness that comes with a standard five or 10 watt longer Ray 5 setup. Now, because I have a 20 watt module on my Ray 5, it uses a, well, it uses a five pin connector to be able to connect the laser. So what this adapter lead allows me to do is connect a five or 10 watt longer diode laser into my a 20 watt wiring harness so all you have to remember is you must remember to swap the power supplies over otherwise you're going to let the magic smoke out of this so this module and the well the 5 watt and the 10 watt module run on 12 volts the 20 watt 30 and 40 watt modules run on 24 volts so you must remember, and I'm laughing here, but if you don't remember, especially if you've got the lower voltage modules in your laser and you connect 24 volts to them, you're going to let the magic smoke out here. Anyway, this just gives you an idea of what is possible. Bit of strain relief on the cable. You can get, say, a three pin to three pin adapter so you have male one end female the other end then there's no need to unplug that anyway that's andy as ever wishing you a great afternoon come and join me on my main channel where the real fun really happens cheers for now